Hello everyone, I'm your host David. I'm a volunteer for Muses NGO. And welcome to the mountains of central Mexico. The place we are now is a small rural community named Magdalena, 30 kilometers south from Orizaba City. This is the town's public high school, and today I'm going to show you some of the work we do in order to promote equal and human rights. Please come with me. So right now these kids are learning about human rights and they are reading the articles of the UN declarations of human rights. De la Declaración Universal de los Derechos Humanos. Porque ya vis se comunidad cachihueca que que le denica se chanchiva. Tlen tanto tichiva te de mucha anica. Pues nen ni me dos horas ni chiva de ni me va a las cinco de la mañana para ni gualevas ni a las seis ni a pues a las seis a fuerza ni vis para que nacía a las ocho. Bueno, Jensen, yo te chile que ya pues pizza de esa comunidad hueca, igual pues ya así que a las 8, entonces me va a pizza cualca para ya así que, bueno, las dos camas de mía. A Mitla. And we go to their communities to explain them either in Spanish or Nahuatl. With these videos, people have learned about human rights and how they can apply them in their daily lives. In addition, this is one of the tools that we use to explain them the different levels of violence. It was made by Polytechnic Mexican Institute and the different levels of violence that goes from uh, jokes uh, to lying up to the highest level of violence, that is murder. And we've also made the translation it, it, in its uh, or, uh, language in Nahuatl in order to the people to, to understand what are the different levels of violence. This is a brief introduction of how to elaborate a traditional piñata and he is speaking in Nahuatl to all these kids so they can know in their native language. <laughs> After this talk about equal and human rights, we are going to show you how we elaborate piñatas. So, you may be wondering what a piñata is. A piñata is a Mexican element used in different festivities. Right now we've heard about a little bit of the history of uh, piñata. In the year 1266, by Marco Polo and its origin were from China. In the year 1300, they were brought to Mexico in the year 1600s. It has different connotations, uh, different co different elements, such as the pigs, which represent different scenes. Piñatas are broken with a stick, which represent the the strength to combat evil. Inside the piñata, it may be filled with different candies or fruit. And once the piñata is broken, it is believed that evil was killed. Mission accomplished, guys. All the piñatas were done successfully thanks to the effort of these kids. Las camas de mía, yo sé que tienen que conseguir piñatas. Muchísimas gracias. 
Thank you very much for everything and for watching us. I'm David, and this is Project.